Voltage drop testing can be used to test resistance in a live circuit. Because the circuit is tested live, voltage drop testing is significantly more accurate than resistance testing alone. Set multimeter to volts DC. With the engine running, place black probe on the positive terminal of the rectifier regulator and the red probe on the positive battery post. A reading less than 500 millivolts is normal. A reading higher than 500 millivolts indicates excess voltage drop is present in the charging system positive circuit. Adding load to the battery with a variable load carbon pile battery tester increases amperage demand from the charging system. This increased amperage may be necessary to reveal the charging system fault. I'm performing the same voltage drop test of the positive circuit as before, but now with a 20 amp load. Voltage drop increases to about 280 millivolts, but remains less than 500 millivolts, confirming the positive circuit does not have excess voltage drop or resistance when loaded. If excess voltage drop is present, or I want to identify where the voltage drop is coming from, I can isolate the circuit by moving the test probes. Move probe from the rectifier regulator positive terminal to the mating spade terminal in the connector. Then to the battery cable ring terminals. Excess voltage drop in the charging system is usually caused by a faulty cable or a poor connection that can be repaired or replaced. Remember to check positive connections at the starter because if they're difficult to access, they're easy to overlook.